All righty, welcome back. 10 TV's Good Life. Alex Schwartz joins us in the kitchen. We're making a dessert. Good morning. Hey, thank you for braving the weather to come out. Yeah, Appreciate it, it. Was, it was not great, but it could have been worse. Yeah, it's and you made it. So, Nebraska. Yeah. So we are going to be making Bananas Foster. Now, mm -hmm. Bananas Foster is, for those of you who don't really know exactly what Bananas Foster is, it was actually invented in 1951 in New Orleans because oh, New really? Orleans was a uh, where all the bananas came to the United States. I learned a lot of really fun facts. Wow, about this I did not know that. Yeah, so what I have here is six tablespoons of butter. Now, the initial recipe I started with had four, but last night when I made this, it got a little um, grainy, so I upped the butter just a little bit. Is so that just regular unsalted? Reg I'm salted? using unsalted butter. And we're gonna take a half of a cup of packed brown sugar and put into this. Okay. And I want to show you, I have Ronnie show this, the bananas, I mean not the bananas, the lemon. Okay. Oh, we'll put that is lemon oh. zest. I sliced Yum. off the outside of the lemon. It smells amazing. I should Just, do this more often. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm. But you want to be careful not to get too deep into the lemon because you don't want to get into the juices and you don't want to get into the rind. Okay. I packed it too good. <laughs> that's, wow. that's some packed I did really sugar. good packing my sugar in there. Gotta get that, yeah, and that's fresh brown sugar. Okay. And why do we want the why do we want the lemons to be like yeah, that? Yeah, I've never known. Because that. we're taking them out. Oh, I see. Yes, it's not going to. You're it, just building a flavor. Yes, we're adding the flavors to this because we're kind of basically making a caramelized sauce that we are going to kind of reduce down and make, and then we're going to put the bananas in this, and then we're going to flambe. Mm. Now, I noticed you don't have it on a high heat. Is there yeah, a reason for that? Low, isn't it? I didn't want it on too high of a heat yet oh, because... you wait? Is that what you're saying? Well, I wanted to melt the butter, and I, need and I didn't want it to it. brown and yep. burn the butter. So I'm upping it to, you want to be about medium-high heat, just enough that you're going to start dissolving this sugar, because you can see how it's really stiff right now. There's not a mm -hmm. lot happening to it. Once the butter kind of gets in there and it's all warmed up, it'll start turning into more of a sauce. You don't want to go too fast on this because if you cook it too fast, you can burn it and then it gets gr grainy. And it, that's the situation I that's had last night. That's my problem. I'm always in a hurry to get things I, done. Like, well, and this, this really doesn't take long. <laughs> you just want to be careful. Now, we're going to take one cinnamon stick and we're just going to mm. put that in this. Again, we're just adding flavors to this that we are going to eventually take out. Oh, I like the idea of a cinnamon stick in there. We'll take our lemon zest. Now I was watching. And this, you make sure you wash the lemon ahead of time. Okay. Mm, That's honey. very important. Some good flavors. And I thought this was honey, Sarah. Yeah, Carol won't, yeah. <laughs> it's not honey. This is not, it's honey. not honey. This is rum. rum, rum now I'm going to put a tablespoon of rum into this. Okay. To yeah. start. Ooh, that sizzles it up, huh? Yes, and once we put more in, when we do the flambe, we'll use the rum again for the flambe side. Okay, we're going to we'll let Carol give this a stir. We're going to go to a quick break and finish this recipe with Alex mm. right after this. Sounds good.